Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we have Nuked Suicidal Gunslinger. And we have Spin Dizziness. I don't like going that way. I don't like going that way. You have to go clockwise and not counterclockwise. If you go counterclockwise, it's blasphemy. It's probably better because you can like see stuff here, but I don't care, dude. I always do it this way and I'm uh, stuck in my ways. I do that uh, a little, a lot of things. I'm, 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 a, I'm a clockwise kind of girl. Okay, you give me like a, a a route, a circle, a thing that I can travel in, and I'm going clockwise. I think that's true of a, of a lot of people. Uh, I think that's kind of like the default for for most people. In fact, um, I think it's normal. Um, but I'm 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 stubborn in my ways. I won't I won't turn around. It gives me like I don't know. Maybe I do have OCD. <laughs> maybe I do. I can't go counterclockwise. It just, it will not happen. Uh, not, not, in like some things, like nuked, I'm not traveling that way, okay? I like, I'm not doing it. Uh, unless I like absolutely have to, but believe you me, it's gonna feel bad. Um, it's gonna feel really bad, so, um, maybe, maybe I do have OCD. Maybe those feelings of, nope, the world's gonna end if you go that way. Maybe that is what OCD is. Who knows, dude? I don't really care, because it doesn't affect me anyway, but... Uh, any any hoozle, any whatzels. Um, I had a topic lined up for for this episode, dude, and it's gone now. I will say that my my mouth is in a lot of pain now. Uh, as I'm like pushing air out of my mouth and talking and stuff, it's kind of like reaggravating the uh, the wound on the roof of my mouth, uh, and it's quite painful. But you know. These are the, uh, these are the, uh, this is what happens when you're, um, a YouTuber, you know? These are the, this is the physical risk that you take on as, uh, as a YouTuber. And you just gotta, you gotta deal with it. You know? I'm having stir fry for, uh, for lunch today, and probably lunch tomorrow, and then probably lunch Friday, because I'm gonna be making lots of stir fry, and then, uh, having leftovers. I had some bean sprouts in my fridge, and I want to use them up. Bean sprouts scare me in the fridge, because one time I left them in my fridge for a little bit too long, and then they started to, like, ooze out this black goop, and it was, like, sticky and slimy and gross, and I had to clean it all up. So whenever I have them in my fridge, I'm always like, ah, make sure you get those cleaned up as soon as you can. Use them up. Use them up. Because uh, they scare me. It was probably because my fridge was not at the right temperature. But it was gross, and they scare me. So I want to use up all of the beans press that I can. And, uh, nip. And, uh, and call it a day after that. Just leave, leave it in the fridge. Because I have a whole fridge to myself. I can, uh, we are going counterclockwise here. I don't mind it over here, though, for some reason. I don't know. Whatever, dude. Call me crazy. You're probably right. You're probably right. Oh my god. Are we gonna die? On on nuked? This early on? Please tell me we're not. Oh my days, we might. We might just. There's like just a billion husks. Everything left is a husk. Like what the heck? It's not gonna work. I'm not I'm not breaking these. I can't I can't shoot them. Consistently enough without, uh... Like, what the heck, dude? Yeah, see ya, boy. He's gonna try and explode, right? Yeah. Go for it, man. Go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a stir-fry today. Where are we putting in the stir-fry? Where are we putting, uh... Well, I got onions, I got mushrooms, I got bean sprouts, obviously. Uh, we've got uh, green onions, you know, rice, obviously. Is that all I have? No. Oh, zucchini. Zucchini is the other thing. Zucchini is the other thing. I think that's uh, not necessarily a well-balanced stir-fry, but a uh, tasty one. It is a tasty stir-fry 
at the very least. And uh, that's what matters most to me personally. I don't mind, like, I'm trying to lose weight and all that, right? And, uh, you know, it's all fine and dandy, and it's, 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 it's working. We're, 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 we're back on, we're back on, you know, track now. I am, uh, we haven't actually made any progress, really, but I am actually watching what I eat again and, 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 and like, saying no to things, and you know, no progress has been made yet, but, like, by next week I'll probably be down a, a little bit at least, you know? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, this is it, eh? This is how we die. Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? It might not be it. Mm, my God, that was terrifying. Okay. Um. Yeah, but by ne next week I'll probably be down, you know, a pound or something. But you can't really tell until you're down like a significant amount. Um. To uh, I think I'm gonna re-record the um. I mean, you can't really tell until you're down like a significant amount just because water weight and all that like your, your weight can fluctuate so much from day to day and if you record at the same time you're eating like the same kind of diet at the same time and doing the same things every day you're probably going to be carrying about the same amount of water at the same point in the same day you know but it's uh i personally for me as somebody who has lost like you know 50 pounds before and then stopped but you know we can i can do it again and uh, as I was as I was doing that, the, the things that I've learned in my uh, in my life through the process of, of the weight loss there, what I personally found was that uh, if you weigh yourself every day, which is good, do that. Um, but if you weigh yourself every day, you're going to notice a lot of fluctuations, kind of popping around. Don't worry about it. You know, make sure that just just worry about eating healthy. Worry about well, not necessarily eating healthy, but a healthy amount anyway. Worry about eating a healthy amount of food, and um, yeah, you know, you'll 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 see it's kind of like uh, you know up and down, but but the general trend is is downwards, you know. Looking at a graph or something like that, it's it's, it's going down, even if it uh, might have a a couple of bits to kind of poke up every now and then, you know. So weigh yourself every day, keep keep track of it, but uh, I. Uh, yeah, just just uh, bear in mind that that your weight might not necessarily move day to day in the way that you want, just just because that's that's the way that stuff works. You have to go poop. You have to go. You have to go. You have to go. You go have a good big poop, and that can that can tip the scale uh, like a pound. You know, depending on how accurate your scale is and how big your poop was. Yeah, because yeah, it could you you could be off by just like. You know, a tiny little bit before you you reach the threshold for your scale to be telling you that you're at the next weight or whatever, right? You could be like, you know, a sixteenth of a pound off before you you hit the you know b b below the the half point or whatever, so it rounds down or whatever. Or maybe it's uh, truncates, or maybe it's uh, ceilings or whatever. You know, who knows? Who knows? But um. You know, little little things like that can kind of affect it because you're being kind of messed around by uh, technology there as well to to a certain extent. So it, it's funny because you you literally can occasionally. It's not often because like I don't know. I poop daily. My poops don't generally weigh like a pound. I mean I don't pick them up, but like I, I'd be I'd be surprised if I was pooping a pound worth of poop every day. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, if, if you go, uh, if, if you're if you're just not that far off the threshold, you go you go use the toilet for a bit, and uh, you pass that threshold, and your weight changes on the scale. Even though like it didn't, you literally you literally just use the washroom, but uh, that can affect your weight too. You know, at least it can affect what your scale says. It doesn't affect your weight, but it it, it can affect what your scale thinks of your weight, um, which is is a whole separate problem as well, right? Um. Which is why I like having a, I guess a analog scale is is probably more accurate because you get to actually see like specifically what you weigh, like to the gram. But whatever. You want to go get like a giant 
stinking analog scale to... I mean, maybe you do. I kind of do. Piece. Sounds like fun, right? <laughs> the thing with the like sliders, they use them at the doctor's offices and whatnot. Because when you have like a, a digital scale, you know, it's... Uh, you have, to, you have to worry about, yeah, like the, the technology rounding and stuff. And you, you might be like five grams off of it rounding to a different point. You know, you take you take your watch off and there's the five grams that you need or whatever, right? You like put down your phone and it's like, oh, well, we're round to a different point now because it's rounding, right? How accurate is your scale? Mine's only accurate to half a pound. If I'm like, you know, 250 point, you know, seven, five. That's going to round up to 251. If I lose, like, the slightest bit, now I'm 250.74. It rounds down to 250 and a half. I lost half a pound by, like, taking off an earring. <laughs> Which is why, you know, an analog scale wouldn't do that, because it's not rounding. So you take off your earring and, like, you move, like, you know, I don't know, maybe, like, a millimeter or something like that. But to the digital scale... With its rounding stuff, you get to, you get to lose a little bit more. Anyway, that that's my rant on on scales. And you know, if you're trying to lose weight, don't let the scales scare scare you. Just uh, make sure you're eating an amount of food that is uh, is fine for for a human being to eat. And uh, the weight the weight will come off. It'll it'll be fine. You know, plan out the count your calories, and and you're good to go. You know, just just actually do. I know that uh, a lot of people who I've uh, seen trying to lose weight don't do that you know um and they'll they'll like drink a coke but they won't count it or they'll they'll have uh um you know some chips but they won't count it because they only had four chips I'm like no you gotta actually count everything that you're eating right you have to actually pay attention to it all or it's not gonna work um you know, but as long as you're doing that, the weight's the weight's gonna fall off. You know, if you're eating like, I don't know, it depends on your your activity levels, but like 1,600 calories a day for for most adults is is typically about where you'd want to be, unless you have like a very active lifestyle or a very not active lifestyle. You might want to eat like 1,500, but typically around there is is where you'd want to be. Um, as long as that's what you're eating, you're probably gonna maintain a healthy weight, right? Like, weight loss isn't about eating at a deficit for, for where you want to be, right? Like, weight loss is about taking the... Think how much you have to eat at the weight you want to be. And then just eating that. And your body won't be able to sustain any other weight other than the weight that you want to be. Because that's how many calories you're eating. That's the weight that you're, you're able to sustain, right? So it's like that that's that's why people say that diets aren't like a, a, a phase. They're not they're not that you can't think it's forever. Because like your diet is literally just eating the amount of food that you would be eating to like if you were at your weight and you will just maintain that weight. And uh, your body will slowly adjust down to that weight. And then uh, you know, and obviously if you're like seven hundred pounds or something like that. Or like, you know, not even necessarily that much, but like three hundred 350 whatever right you might you might have to like slowly work your way down there to, to keep it healthy like you know talk to your doctor before you start losing like 10 pounds a day or something stupid right um you don't want to eat a too huge a deficit but most people aren't that heavy most people that want to lose weight aren't losing like hundreds and hundreds of pounds typically people are losing like you know 50 to, to 100 pounds um which is you know what i'm at um, so, you just, you just pick your, figure out what, uh, what, cal what, what, uh, what intake you need for the weight you want, eat that weight, you took some hits there. Yeah, eat, eat that, eat, 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 eat for the weight you want to be, you know, you aren't at that weight, but your body will, will just get there, and then you'll maintain it, and then that's, that's what you eat, right? Now, now that, that does leave out a little bit of, uh, it's not misleading, but it does leave out a little bit of information for sure. Um, because once you have lost the weight, you're, you're a little bit more free to, to make um, 
poor decisions. Like when you're trying to lose weight, I'm I'm trying to lose weight. I can't go to McDonald's, right? Like McDonald's is an absolute no go. I'm not I'm not ordering McDonald's. I'm not going to McDonald's. I'm not eating McDonald's. It's it's completely off the table for me as I'm losing weight. Once I'm at my goal weight, if I want to go to McDonald's and have you know a 20 chicken nuggets, I can dang well do that, you know. I just I can't do it all that often because it's not going to be productive to uh, to my weight. But like putting on a pound or two here or there isn't the end of the world when you're when you're at a weight that you're happy with, right? Because you just you just pay attention to it for a bit and you're you're back to where you are and like your weight's gonna be fluctuating around anyway. So like really doesn't matter that much. You can have McDonald's if you want it. Not not that big a deal. But when you're losing your weight, you can't do that because if I go eat McDonald's, not only is it going to slow down my progress, it's going to like regress, you know, to a certain extent. I mean, I can I can order like you know a six pack of nuggets or something like that and replace my dinner with that because that's how many calories are in it. Um, but uh, you know, like it, it's it, it kind of leaves out a bit when when people say that uh, a diet is forever because yeah, but you also you also get a little bit more more leeway with it once you're once you're at your your desired weight just because putting on a pound when you're when you're happy with your weight isn't as big a deal as putting on a pound when you're trying to lose a pound you know it's, it's a lot less devastating to, to your mental health um so yeah if you have a bit more leeway with uh, with what you eat which isn't to say that once you're at your healthy weight you can eat mcdonald's whenever you want right you can't you can't go have you know McDonald's, A&W, Wendy's, Burger King, pizza, whatever you want for dinner, whenever you want it, because like you do have to, you know, maintain the weight. But like, if you want to have McDonald's on a day, and then like a couple weeks later have McDonald's again, like it's absolutely fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Outside of like, you're not really getting your nutrients. <laughs> but like, you know, if you want to have McDonald's, it's fine. Um. So there, there is a, a certain degree of, 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 of not totally accurateness to it, but at the same time, like, like it is kind of temporary, like what I'm doing right now, where I'm, some, some aspects of weight loss are temporary, but the majority of them, my god, I haven't even been talking that much today, I don't even have that much talking to do. Some aspects of weight loss are temporary, but most of them are, uh, are there to say, because again, you're just eating for the weight that you want to be. And uh, you're not necessarily like eating at a deficit for that weight. So once you get there, you're like, I can stop eating so little. I can start eating a lot again. No, that's going to put you back up to, to the weight you're at, right? You have to continue eating the amount that you've been eating for, you know, the year or whatever that you've been losing weight for. Otherwise, you're going to just go right back to, to where you were before. And you weren't happy about that before, so you're not going to be happy about it again. Um, but... Some things, some things are temporary. Some, some aspects, anyway. There's always options if you do want to eat more, you know. You can start working out a whole bunch. That's gonna, it's gonna burn a lot of calories, and you can fill up those calories with junk if you want. You shouldn't you should fill it up with like the nutrients you need? But you know, I'm not gonna stop you. Anyway, that's 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 my perspective on the uh, on weight loss. It's going okay, you know. Obviously, again, I said, like I said, it's, uh, we haven't actually had progress made yet. My mouth hurts like heck, dude. It's I'm in a lot of pain. Can't cancel the stream though. I'm almost tempted to. I'm gonna see how I feel at uh, at, at stream when it, when it comes time for the stream, and we uh, we might do something about it. Cause I am actually in quite a lot of pain and. Uh, I'm gonna have to see if I think it's it's actually okay for me to, to go streaming with uh, with this much pain. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to make a decision. I'm gonna have to make a decision. But I am in uh, I am in actually like a lot of pain. It's it's quite painful. It's even more painful than last night, which makes sense to a certain extent because I, I wore myself down last night and then uh, today I'm kind of wearing myself down a little bit as well and, and aggravating it a bit. But I don't know. I'll probably end up streaming. Cause it is painful, but like, not, not painful to the extent where I can't talk. It's not, you know, I don't know. Um, but 
We'll uh, I'll have to see how it goes. We got a few hours left, like three, three and a half hours left for stream. So we'll see how I feel after I've uh, eaten and uh, relaxed for a bit. If I want to do a three and a half hour stream of, of talking nonstop, which is uh, like that sounds like a lot of pain, but at the same time, I don't really want to sacrifice my stream just because I'm in pain. I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to see. I'll have to see. It is, it is like, really painful. Though. I might take some time and I'll force stream. It's not bleeding. Um, there's no taste of blood or anything in my mouth. It's it's just sore. Uh, I don't think I'm at risk of injury. If I were, I would definitely not stream, by the way. If, if, I, if, I, if I genuinely thought that, that uh, continuing to talk could, like, actually, like, injure myself and, like, be, like, put out because of it, like, I would not stream. I wouldn't even be recording right now. Um, I would. I would definitely not be streaming, right uh, today. But I. Uh, I don't think it is. I think it's just pain. And I think that uh, the more I talk, <laughs> the, the longer it's gonna take for it to like go away. Um. But there's no blood. It's not like an open wound or anything like that, right? It's just a uh, a sore spot and. Uh, much as I don't like it, it, I don't think it's, you know, necessary for me to uh, avoid talking and stuff. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to see how I feel about it going forward. But I'm, uh, I'm imagining that uh, with the reduced workload that I have today, tomorrow, Friday, um, and then Saturday and Sunday off, I, uh, I should be perfectly fine come Monday, even if I, uh, I don't rest my mouth a little bit. But uh, it is not excruciatingly painful. It's not excruciatingly painful. Um, just it is painful. Like it, it, it there's a constant uh, uh, like sting in the in the roof of my mouth. Not even sting. It's like a uh, throbbing almost. But so you don't burn your mouth, dudes. <laughs> don't don't eat food that's too dang hot. You will burn yourself and it'll hurt. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I mean, I'm in pain, but like, other than that, life's pretty good. Life is pretty good, dude. I am gonna try re-recording the um. So I have uh, the vlog style content for the um for the uh. The weight loss thing, where I'm gonna be doing every 10 pounds, having the the little clip of, uh, of stuff to, to show off on it. I am thinking I'm gonna be re-recording that, um, just to get a better clip. I'm still gonna say it was September 10th, just so that I'm not misleading people. Like when I started and then when I actually lost the first 10 pounds, I don't want to mislead that. I'm still gonna say it's September 10th, um, but just so I can get a better clip of it now, I think I might want to give that a try. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Here's the awards. Here's the XP. Here's the player stats. No end cards? That's right, because we're going to the vault, dude. We're gonna open up. We're not gonna open them, but we're gonna go and get all the crates that we have and then see how many crates we actually have. Probably got like a bunch of uh, of these to, op uh, to, to grab here. Bunch of crates to unlock. Yeah, lots of crates. <laughs> it's been a while since I've opened this. We've had, you know, weekly stuff and daily stuff and um, the seasonal stuff. Lots and lots and lots of do Bosch dollars that we've gotten. So it's, it, this, this could take a while. This could take a while. And that's it, eh? Really, I expected way more than that. We don't really have that much yet, to be honest. Like we can, we can start racking this up a whole bunch more. But how many items do we have? We have 50 Vosh crates, plus whatever we just got. Really, like we got like lots of crates, dude. Lots and lots of stuff. Lots of weapon skins, and we got like four of these boomsticks. <laughs> we have three of these military surplus beanies. Can start to 
disassemble some of these things, I guess. But, like, eh. Do that later. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.